Hello, in a video coming up, I will show you what the new Chromebook personalization hub looks like. I'm really happy to show you this because it looks really good. At the moment, it's not available on Chrome OS 100 on the stable channel, and it is not available for using a flag at the moment, but I'll be able to show you what it will look like. And as soon as it does come out on a flag on stable channel, I'll obviously show you how you can use it. But first, what I'll do is I'll show you what the personalization currently looks like. So this is on Chrome OS 100 stable channel. So if you go to your settings, and then go to uh, personalization here, and you'll see personalization here, and there's three different sections. Now, they're okay at the moment. You can go in here and you can change your avatar. Um, that's fine, there's a back button there, which is fine. This one really frustrates me, the wallpaper one, because when you click on this one, there is no back button and it really, really, really frustrates me. But you can change your um, wallpaper in here. And if you press the X, it does take you back to the settings. And then you've got the screensaver here and you can choose Google Photos or Art Gallery. Now the new personalization, which I will show you, actually includes some new features. And one of those new features is an animated screensaver, which is really good. I'm going to add, I've got a video which I'll show you on this uh, video as well um, to show you what that looks like. So first of all, we need to go to the developer channel and now we are in the developer channel. So on here, it looks now totally different on the personalization. So click here to go to your settings and you'll see, click on personalization and it's one header there, but instead of all them three like we had, it's now just all, or, all under one section, which I guess that's what I've called it, the hub. And I think it's a really good idea because we all know that we want to be able to customize our Chromebooks in the future, and but the more we can customize them, the better. So I think it's really good to put it in a hub because you know where it all is, rather than to go backwards and forwards. Click in this hub, and you'll notice there's your avatar there, so you could click on there and you can change your avatar, which is very similar to what you can do at the moment. You could take a picture to take a new avatar if you wanted to, for example, like that. Use this photo. So you could use that avatar. This one I quite like, the loop one. And again, I do believe this was available in any old channel. It's just, I'm going to show you the different options. Click on that. It doesn't last very long now, but there we go, as you can see. So you could use that as well. So you can use your own, which is pretty cool. Or you can use all of the, any of these here. And they're all quite cool as well. I will change mine back to that for now. What I do like about this as well, it's, it's, it's got up here. I guess you could sort of, it's, it's similar to breadcrumbs, what you find on a website where it should, where you can go back to where you want to be. But as you can see, you're clearly, clearly an avatar and there's clearly a home and that home button there takes you back to your personalization hub, which is really cool. And then in here, you've got your wallpaper. And again, you can choose all your different wallpapers that you want to choose here. And you can change them daily, just as you can at the moment. Um, let's change it to that cool one there. Okay, and then as you can see, that's gone to Cityscapes here. So you can go back one to wallpaper without having to go back all the way to the home. So it's much nicer to navigate. But the best thing about the personalization hub, I do love the fact that it's all now together. The best thing is the screensavers. So when you go onto the screensavers, You'll notice here, um, first of all, you've got the option here, when your screen is idle, show photos, time, weather, and media info, that's on. So when that's on, it will show you your time and temperature in the corner on your screensaver, which is all good. At the moment, the only option you've got is the slideshow, but you'll notice now there's two extra options, and these are actually anima animated wallpapers. You've got Feel the Breeze, this was the first one that was available a few weeks ago. 
and now they've, add, they've added float on buy. I will quickly show you what they look like, but it is a separate video, so I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly show you that on the screen now. So this is the Feel the Breeze one. And as you can see, it looks very, it, it, well it is like a, 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 a clothesline where you hang your clothes, but it's photos, and you can actually change some photos to your own. And then there's float on buy as well, and I'll show you that one. So that's the float on buy one. Again, it shows photos, but you can choose your own as well. Personally speaking, I like Feel the Breeze, but it's nice that we have the two options there at the moment. Also, there may be more as well in the future. They're just the two at the moment. Bearing in mind, this is not yet available on the stable channel. Um, so here, you can see it's got the art gallery. So them screensavers I've just showed you is been using images from the art gallery and that's just these here. You can choose the two. However, you can, there's no Google Photos on this because it's de a developer um, Chromebook. So I need to add some Google Photos and I will do that. But essentially, if you add albums like you do have in Google Photos, you could click on one, say, oh, that was one of my dogs. That's one of my family. Oh, that's when we went on holiday for my birthday. And then once you go back to the screensaver there, when this comes up, it will have all your pictures. So that's really cool, so that's really nice. So it's giving more personalization to the screensaver and it's animated as well. So it, it is really, really cool. As I says, when it's available on the Sable channel, because at the moment you can only get it on developer channel, and I wouldn't recommend using the developer channel for most people, because it does mean that you can go into the developer channel. It's risky, things can go wrong. I don't do any work on this computer. It's just a developer channel so I can see what's happening, but I wouldn't do any blogging on this. I just wouldn't risk it. Also, if I then went back, it has to wipe all your computer so you lose all your data. So I wouldn't recommend going into developer channel unless of course you want to. But as soon as this is available on the uh, stable channel, and it won't be available straight away on the stable channel as default, it will be using a flag. I will obviously do a video and show you how you can do that. So that's why I hope you do like this video. Please like the video because if you don't like the video, it doesn't get showed to other people. That's just how it works on YouTube. And please also subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching the video.